Happiness comes with success. That I guess is true. But success is more or less a point of view. Welcome to PPI Recording Studio nestled in the cradle of uh, New York City. Welcome to the second weekly episode for the month of October 2023 for dedication around the nation weekly video series because we are getting it out to the nation and beyond. First photo you see come up today is a thank you to all our YouTube channel subscribers. Now within the last six days between episodes we've garnered a few more new YouTube channel subscribers which is absolutely marvelous. So those new YouTube channel subscribers I say thank you and welcome. Now it depends on the setting. Sometimes I can see when people subscribe their name, sometimes not. One of the new subscribers I know for sure is Bob Hilberg. So thank you so much, Bob, for your support and for subscribing to the channel. More about Bob today in this episode. So to follow Bob's lead and all the subscribers and join onto the collective family, if you will, very easy, quick, simple to subscribe. As you're watching today's episode, lower right-hand corner of your screen, you see a red button right down there. Just click on to that red button, please, and there you go. You're subscribed. <laughs> Just like that. So what happens is by subscribing, you're not only helping this particular YouTube series and video weekly series on the greater YouTube platform, you're also helping us in our expanded mission of nonprofit organization promotion, such as International Women in Jazz based here in New York, small business marketing, such as Pearl Street Station Restaurant up in Malden, Massachusetts, just north of Boston, and artistic endeavors of other artists who are not tethered to Project 142, but we put our marketing skills to work for them and help spread the word. So while you're subscribing today, you'll see this insignia. And if you click onto that as well, that's the like button for the video. And right next to that is the share box. And if you'd like to as well, click onto the share box, share this particular episode with your family, friends, and social media. Yeah, I love her music. <laughs> so we have a couple of follow-ups today from previous episodes that we're going to insert here today in this episode. First is from last week's episode, and that was October 5, 2023, and in it, we featured a wildlife rescue rehab person, and that's Linda Amato up in Malden, Massachusetts, once again, just north of Boston, and we had a featured video within that episode of Linda hand-feeding by a syringe with milk in it for a baby rescue squirrel. It's very, very sweet. If you've not seen that episode, underneath the text description area today, I'll have a live quick link. So you just click on to that and watch that episode. So this is a follow-up photo now, and we've given this squirrel a name. It's Hazel. And as you could oh, see... Oh, used to be on TV. I used to love that show. <laughs> That's right. And as you can see, the squirrel is really taking on form. It's growing quickly under Linda's care and under Linda's, certainly her umbrella of compassion. So... The whole idea here, as with a wildlife rescue person, is to eventually release them to Mother Nature, back to the wild. That's where they're supposed to be, and that's where Hazel is eventually going. But she's almost there. She's getting close. So as you can see here, next photo is October 8, 2023, which is this past Sunday. I was at Don't Tell Your Mama right here in New York City, and I was attending the Goldie DeVere show. And hey, congratulations. man. Where were you? <laughs> Con I was there. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations to Goldie for another sold out show and it was so much fun. I'm very, very happy for her. But as you can see with the photo here, I was wearing my Gotham Whale hat, right? Gotham Whale, which is a nonprofit organization we've been supporting now for 19 months on dedication around the nation, also Project 142. So first of all, for Goldie, it's her birthday this week. So happy, happy birthday, Goldie. We'll give you a horn. And for Gotham Whale, we have two updates. These are fairly new videos that just come out in the last three, four weeks. And the first one you're going to see is of a live event that took place up by Boston within 2023. And the next one is one that I attended and was a volunteer at in August 2023. Both live events. These are new YouTube videos explaining about what Gotham Whale is 
and about those particular events and what they meant at that particular junction in time. Live links in the text description area to both of those YouTube episodes and also to Gotham Whale's website, also their Facebook page. Makes it very easy for you to get information about Gotham Whale. Project 142 Concert Series is the sponsor to Dedication Around the Nation weekly video series. There is the new poster. Hey, yeah, I love that so, so as you see here, the Project 142 logo, our website is www.project142.org. Facebook page is Project 142NYC. The event calendar tethered to the website is www.project142.org slash calendar. That calendar gets updated every day by myself. Keep it very current. Also has live events on it for promotional purposes. Also online events. For example, October 27, 2023 at 8 o'clock, we have on the event calendar Maria Giorgio and her next live performance here in New York City up at the Shrine. So Project 142 was founded and created by retired minister here in New York City, Dick Leonard. And Dick Leonard in 2010 opened up his home for artists, musicians to come in, perform. He didn't charge him for the space. Dick provided refreshments, didn't charge. It was all free, didn't charge anybody for that. It was very, very sweet and then some. Two and a half years, it outgrew its Dick's home from having concerts in there. And that was when Dick hired me to take Project 142 on to the next step because now it's going out of his home, becoming mobile to outside venues here within New York City that we were promoting and booking concerts for artists and musicians. It didn't have a website. I created that. didn't have a social media platform. didn't have also a logo, which you just saw. So we created all that to put Project 142 on the map and put it to work. So Project 142 was doing live concerts up to April 28th, 2020 when we redesigned the mission and put it to all our hard work and skills to a whole nother level, if you will. And that's when we created, with the help of Chip Fabrizi, the owner of PPI Recording Studio, we launched Dedication in Isolation, this weekly video series. And now we're into our fourth season and it has evolved into this new logo within the last six, seven weeks. Dedication around the nation because it's gone way beyond the confines of the tri-state area. <laughs> so for the first Project 142 video promotion support for today, and that is for, for a reminder, I should say October 14th, 2023 at 7 p.m. We talked about it last week, and that is for the Shocking Red concert right here in New York City. It's going to be at Kostabi World, which is actually the home of celebrated artist Mark Kostabi. That's 225 West 22nd Street. You see the flyers I'm talking. And that is sponsored by Composers Concordance, which is an organization based right here in New York City. And performing will be Michelle Schacht and Kathleen Supave. And I have live links in the text description area to Composers Concordance. Makes it very easy for you to get information about that concert this Saturday night. And a very, very dear friend, Thomas Youngs, who is an angel of the arts. I'm doing, putting it out there for Thomas because Thomas is very, very close with Michelle and Kathleen and really wants to get the word out. So thank you, Thomas, for your support for the last three and a half years of dedication and isolation and now around the nation. So next one I'm going to talk about is October 14 as well, 2023. It's at 10 a.m. You see the flyers I'm talking. And this is for a celebration of revolutionary um, war heroine. And this is going to take place up in Medford, Mass., just north of Boston, right next to Malden, Mass., as a matter of fact. And my friend Bob Hilberg, who is the new subscriber here, or one of them, he's going to be performing. And, but this is going to be an outdoor event. It takes place at 2 o'clock, or I'm sorry, 10 o'clock in the morning, 10 to 12, I believe it is, as you can read the flyer. They're going to have free hot cocoa for people, but it's all about the uh, Revolutionary War and a heroine of the Revolutionary War. And then you're going to see the next photo is Bob... <laughs> In costume, he's going to show up as Jean Lafitte. No, I'm only kidding. He's going to be the Marquis, I think Marquis La Lafayette, I think he said he was going to be. So he's a character within this particular event up at Medford Square in Medford, Massachusetts, this Saturday, October 14. Now, to carry on with Bob, Bob also has two YouTube videos that I want to put out here for him. 
He's such a sweet man. He has this one video. Bob was a photographer for the New England Patriots, professional NFL football team. So Bob got very close with, as friends, Russ Francis. So the first one you're seeing here, who was a tight end for the San Francisco 49ers and also the New England Patriots. So Bob has this video interview he just did about two weeks ago, and you see it's screenshot here, and I'll have live links in the text description area to that particular YouTube channel and ep interview. And it's really cool. He tells all these stories about Russ. He really was a character. I wish I had gotten to know him. Very funny man and certainly very celebrated as a tight end in the NFL. So the second photo you're going to see come up here, image, is for Bob's own personal YouTube channel. Because Bob has a couple of YouTube, or I'm sorry, Facebook channels, which is one's called We Love Boston, and also, or it's Why We Love Boston, I'm sorry. And the second one is his own business, which is Untold and Unlimited Mindset Motivation. So that's what this particular YouTube screenshot that you see here is from one of his sessions this year, 2023. Again, live link in the text description area it makes it very easy to click on and go on and learn more and support about Bob. So the last one I'm going to talk about today is October 27, 2023, and that is going to be right here in New York City, and that's going to be at Skybolt, which is a venue run by Robert C. Ford, who has been a guest here twice on Dedication Around the Nation, weekly video series. And this particular event is going to be, Robert C. is going to be performing, Gene Pritzker, who is one of the main folks for Composer Concordance. And as you see the flyers I'm talking here, so I'll have live links in the text description area to Sky Vault, their Facebook page. Makes it very easy to get information. And also, once again, Composer Concordance, their information and live links. It makes it very easy to get information from them. So I'm going to take it out today with a song. We're celebrating a lyricist's birthday this month. Now, last week I sang the song, and it's Johnny Burke. So Johnny Burke, you may not know him by name, Johnny Burke wrote the lyrics to Errol Garner's song Misty, for example, right? Also, he wrote the lyrics to Would You Like to Swing on a Star, which became a big hit. Also, it won an Academy Award in the 1944 Academy Awards ceremony for Best Original Song in a Movie for that year. And that was Going My Way with Bing Crosby. Now, last week I did Polka Dots and Moonbeams has a wonderful verse that intros the song. You know how much we love the verses. So today, I'm going to do a song which is actually recorded on my sixth CD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was recorded right here at PPI. Not here. Right. And the name of the CD is Urge to Croon. And the song is called I've Got a Pocket Full of Dreams. And as well with Polka Dots and Moonbeams has a wonderful intro verse because you know how much we love the verses. And that's what I open with today for this particular episode. Happiness comes with success. That I guess is true. But success is more or less a point of view. I'm no millionaire. I'm not the type to care. Because I've got a pocket full of dreams. It's my universe. Even with that empty purse, cause I've got a pocket full of dreams. You can keep the wealth of Wall Street for a road where nature tried. I'd guesstimate I'm worth of my weight in golden rods. Lucky, lucky me, I can live in luxury, cause I've got a pocket full of dreams. Yes, I've I got a pocket full of dreams. Thank you for joining us today. Please check out all those live links underneath today's episode. They are there for you. Makes it very easy to learn more, support more, and help these artists and help these nonprofit organizations, small business marketing. It's all there for you. So please take advantage of them. And once again, as always, thank you, Mr. Chipper Breezy, owner of PPI Recording Studio. You're very welcome. Do you have a horn with you? I own? have a horn. Well, let's go. <laughs> we'll see you next episode, and thank you, Mr. Chipper Breezy.